Can you improve your performance on the court or in the courtroom? Stay tuned for a few minutes. I'm going to talk to you about a couple of technologies. The first is heart rate variability training. You see heart rate variability training showing up everywhere these days. A lot of people are talking about it. It's important because I run into this over and over again. It's important to understand that there's a nuance to heart rate variability training. And it does involve more than just watching a YouTube video of, of a screen going up and down and you're, you're breathing to this. Now, can many people get an improvement in heart rate variability that way? Probably so. But it's better if you use biofeedback equipment to measure heart rate variability and to make sure that you're making progress because I find many people are not despite months of using heart rate variability breathing. However, the literature is remarkable on this. With sustained practice using biofeedback equipment, heart rate variability improves many factors related to not just to staying calm and at ease under stressful conditions, say you're playing tennis or you're playing golf or you're an attorney or a surgeon or your performer, uh, a musician, it, it doesn't matter. Being able to, to, to stay calmer under stressful condition improves the quality of life and enhances performance. So we see that every time I open up uh, Golf Digest or Tennis Magazine, I see another golfer who's using neurofeedback or heart rate variability training. So heart rate variability is proven to work. It's just that it's important to understand that you need to get the right technology and that practice is required. And when you do so, performance improves. By the way, heart rate variability is worth paying attention to if you're interested in longevity because heart rate variability is one of those predictors as we age of life expectancy for a variety of reasons. So it's worth looking into heart rate variability. I've already mentioned quickly and casually neurofeedback. At our clinic, we combine heart rate variability and neurofeedback training. What's neurofeedback training? Well, that's brainwave biofeedback training. We use a technology where we can map the brain, we can see the areas that are dysregulated, and then we retrain those brainwave patterns over time. Whether it's ADD, uh, whether it's true ADD, ADHD, or just problems focusing, whether anxiety gets in the way, whether you've got a busy mind. Sometimes underlying mood states play an order in performance. But typically it's anxiety and anxiety-related correlates that get in the way of performance. So with the combination of neurofeedback and heart rate variability training, we train the body and the brain and performance improves greatly. You'll see this mentioned with many elite performers now because it's become part and parcel of the sports psychology training that most psychologists use with their elite athletes and performers. If you're interested in learning more about heart rate variability training and neurofeedback, please set up a time to speak with me. You can call the number listed to the side or you can uh, fill out the form on our website and set up a time at your convenience for us to chat. Well, if you do have questions, again, reach out. I look forward to chatting with you. Uh, I also have a number of other articles about heart rate variability and neurofeedback you'll find on the website. So please check those out if you, if you have some time. Take care now.